the irony of this is that just because there isn't a lot of violence in the moment of the riot uh, doesn't mean that there aren't serious long-term effects. Uh, one thing that you often see after, immediately after a riot is a newfound sense of solidarity among the rioters. They are, they've gone from being an anonymous population to being an aggrieved population, a commonly aggrieved population that has expressed itself together. And they may not know each other any better, but they know each other as participants in the riots. And that is a very powerful, a politically powerful population unit, political unit. Uh, I think that there's always a risk, and we've seen it less in this country, but there's no reason it couldn't happen. But it happens in other countries where riots immediately give way to demagoguery. And you see people rise to the fore who can then, who have those skills, uh, the, uh, they have uh, the certain qualities or characteristics of uh, someone who can channel that, uh, that rage and that newfound identity and aim it outward uh, toward another population. And uh, you know, this happened uh, you know, in, in, in France repeatedly during the riots, so the various riots in the 19th century. Uh, you know, arguably, this was one of the core tactics of the Nazis in their rise, was using that discontent already expressed as a way to form solidarity and to aim it like a laser at someone else, to basically say, now that you've identified yourself, now that you've crossed the line and identified yourself as an aggrieved person, and you've taken action based on that, there's no going back. You are now part of this new group. And I will now explain to you why you were pushed to do that. And that is up to the demagogue to decide what that target is, but it's uh, you know, obviously been used to very uh, you know, extreme effects in the past, and there's no reason why it couldn't be used in the future. Remember, even though I'm talking about a riot as a, uh, what you would call like a proto-political movement where there actually is something being expressed in all this violence, it is ultimately, in our, uh, there is an irrational quality. This is the overturning of social order. It is uh, the rejection, even if momentarily, of everything that quote-unquote normal human beings value in being a part of society. There is an irrational quality. And just because a riot ends, it doesn't mean that irrational quality is completely gone. And a good, good demagogue is someone who can take that, even if it's still an ember, and focus it and turn it back into heat and a laser and aim it somewhere else. And that's where I think uh, we've been lucky in this country uh, that that has not happened all that often, but there's no reason why it couldn't happen again.